Stanley Quencher Cup, that is. Sold in over 100 different colors, the $45 reusable bottles are flying off shelves. I got a Stanley! Big dumb cup. <laughs> Still has ice in it. New Stanley accessories just arrived. Without paying and stuffed the stolen merchandise in her car. Get him! Stop him! Stop him! Trash! 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 Testing positive for lead all over. Engineering and supply chain teams are making progress on innovative alternative materials. Pretty much have stopped using lead in just about every product out there. Stanley Cups came out of nowhere. One day I vaguely knew they existed and the next day I was seeing them all around me. And already, literally a couple weeks later, they're already fading away. So what happened? Why did people suddenly go insane over a cup that's been around for over a hundred years and why is it dying out so quickly? If you Google why are Stanley Cups popular, it's going to give you some generic information. They are popular for their ability to keep drinks cold as well as being stylish. And sure, that's a part of it. That's why they've been a huge drink brand for the past hundred years. But what we need to figure out is why this recent insane surge of popularity happened. So first, I figured I would try the cup for myself to see if it was really worth all this hype. Okay, look at me with my Stanley Cup. I'm so cool. Let's give it an official test. Yep, that's water, all right. Upon further research, it appears that Stanley's recent surge in popularity happened due to a perfect storm of events that started all the way back in November of 2023, when a woman uploaded a video about how her car had caught on fire and the Stanley cup that she had in her cup holder not only survived, but still had ice in it. This video went viral, rightfully so, and Stanley ended up seeing the video. They then replaced her car, good move, and this made it even more viral. This began to spark a lot of interest over the cup. At this point, it was a trend to talk about your Stanleys on TikTok, but it was nothing compared to what's about to come. On December 31st of 2023, Stanley released a Valentine's Day Starbucks collaboration cup. Now, it's nothing special. It's basically the same cup that they've always been making, but slightly different and brighter and it's pink uh, also i don't know why they made a valentine's day collab in december like it's just now valentine's day <laughs> can you just waited a couple months i don't know despite that though it went berserk this is where the videos that i'm sure you've seen of people fighting over the cups and jumping over the counter and stealing the cups and getting beat up for it and waiting in these insanely long lines outside of target just to go in and get a stanley cup it was absurd. This is where it all started, is right when this cup was announced. This is where the Stanley Cup reached levels that it's never seen before, and with a whole different audience. It used to be like more of a manly brand, right? Manly Stanley bars. No, but it used to be more of a manly cup, and now it had reached a whole new audience of teenage girls. Now, this is a powerful audience right here. <laughs> Videos started going viral all over the internet about Stanley Cups, from people unboxing their cups to debunking the car fire video. This cup was everywhere. Now check out this video. If I like it, I'll just grab it in a different color. If I like it, I'll just grab it in another color. If I like it and they have another color, I'll just grab it. Did I like it and they had a different color? Consider it grab. If I like it and what they have is additional colors, I'll just grab it. This video shows a girl showing off her insane collection of Stanley Cups. If you scroll down to the comments, someone commented, that's like $1,500. The creator replied with more TBH. Most weren't retail. You really only need one. You don't need 55 Stanley Cups. You really just need one, maybe two if you really want to. They're built to last. <laughs> This is absurd. Anyways, this is far from the only video showing off an insane Stanley collection. Now, one thing you might notice about these cups in these videos is some of them still have the packaging on them. And that's not a mistake. People keep them on there for style. The packaging was so cute. I had to get it laminated, some glue dots to the back. And now I can use my tumbler without messing up the label. <laughs> So stupid. Yo, what's up, y'all? Check out the new bottle. It's pretty sick. I didn't even take my shit out of the package. Shit's still in the box. Pretty sick, right? 
Now that's a sick ass water bottle. You like my new bottle, man? Yeah, no, I didn't even take it out of the truck, man. Now, another part of this trend was people making fun of how big Stanley Cups are. And people who think that Stanley Cups are big genuinely don't know the half of it. That's my water bottle right there. That's right, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy in comparison to the Stanley Cup. So to all the people making fun of Stanley Cups for being big, you don't know what you're talking about. This is not a big cup. This is a big cup. Mana, that's the brand. Look it up, go buy you one. This is actually my water bottle. Like I take this thing to work with me. I take it to school with me. Hell, if I'm going on a walk, it's in my hand. This thing lives with me. Fuck the Stanley. Man is the way to go, bro. It holds a gallon of water. It stays cold for 120 hours. That's five days. It, it's overall just an amazing water bottle, and it only cost about 40 to $50. Now, on the other hand, Stanley Cups that only hold, hold about 40 ounces, stay cold for about 48 hours, cost up to $130 at Walmart. Huh? Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I don't love my water bottle and that I don't get loving a water bottle. I love my water bottle. It's a good water bottle it gets the job done it holds a lot of water it keeps it cold and it's also a conversation piece when i'm walking around school looking like this it brings up conversations it leads to new connections that i might not have had otherwise because i'm socially awkward having a water bottle having something it doesn't have to be a water bottle having something to hold on to and to like kind of use you know to get yourself out there a little bit is helpful and just so it's just a good water bottle i enjoy using it i'm aware that it's a little absurd but that's like kind of the whole point of it so i can understand why people love a specific water bottle so much it's something you're gonna carry with you wherever you go and you want to make sure that it does a good job and that you like the way it looks and i'm sure stanley's are a great conversation piece as well just because of the culture around them and everyone that knows that you know oh you have a stanley cup too dude what do you think of your stanley cups i got this new attachment for my stanley cup it's that's what, that's what i hear but that being said these people don't love their stanley cups because they're good water bottles they love these water bottles because everyone else loves these water bottles it's like a mob mentality thing and there's literally no reason to spend thousands of dollars building up a collection of these decent cups just for the trend of the cups to literally already be dying out we'll talk about that later the stanley hype got so insane that kids were being bullied for not having a stanley this cup. video shows a guy who was talking about how he bought his little sister a water bottle for christmas and when she took it to school all of the kids made fun of her because it wasn't a stanley she said that she was never gonna bring it to school ever again this made him feel bad and rightfully so but then he dropped her off at school and saw that literally every single other kid had a stanley cup. and he felt bad so he bought her one. this is absurd stanley cups are not the best water bottle around and the fact that everyone is so demanding that everyone must have one is just stupid if a kid whose family doesn't make a lot of money wants to stay hydrated so they start bringing some 15 dollar unbranded water bottle to school and all the kids start laughing haha <laughs> sarah doesn't have a stanley that's just cruel people also got obsessed and started adding a bunch of accessories to their stanley cups Okay, at this point, just get a backpack, bro. Like, that's so many accessories to put on a water bottle. Maybe a sleeve, you know, maybe one of those little things that hold your AirPods off the side. That's cool, whatever. But you don't need your water bottle to hold all of your cards and your cash and your chapstick. Just, just get a purse. Just carry around a purse. This, this is anything. What? Now, I also want to mention that this isn't the first time that water bottles have been a huge trend. Back in 2019, hydro flasks were extremely popular. And while those are still around, they're not nearly as talked about as they once were. And I believe that Stanley is going to fall to a similar fate. All right, let's talk about the downfall of Stanley Cups. By the way, guys, it's my birthday today as I'm filming this, so... Maybe a little birthday subscribe wouldn't be... It would be in order. I don't know. Maybe a little birthday comment. Say, happy birthday, Dakota. I love you, and I'm subscribed to your channels, and I've watched every single one of your videos ever you've ever made, and I love you, and you're so cool. 
just an idea <clears throat> anyways back to stanley cup so literally weeks after the peak of stanley cups it's already significantly dropped with popularity i was originally gonna make a video about the rise of stanley cups and just making fun of the stuff that people were doing with them but by the time that i got around to working on this video it was already dying out if you look at a google trends graph for the search term stanley cup you will see that the end of december and at the beginning of january it spiked to lengths that it has never spiked before. But by the time that February hit, it was already right back down where it was before. Now, of course, Google Trends isn't the best source of information when it comes to displaying how popular something is, but it does show you a graph of up and then right back down. And that's basically exactly how this trend has happened. So what happened? Why did Stanley fall off? Well, there's many reasons for this. First of all, it hit Facebook, a place where all trends go to die. <laughs> now, I'm going to make myself sound lame as hell here, but I was honestly out of the loop of this whole thing until my parents told me about it. Um, I don't watch TikTok. I'm not into TikTok or any short form content, to be honest. I don't really always know the latest hip phrases and uh, and trends that are going on with the youth and stuff, right? So I was completely unaware of this whole Stanley Cup trend until mid-January. And at that point, my mom, who had a Stanley Cup, she was gifted it back in December. She told me, hey, have you heard about this whole Stanley thing? I saw something about it on Facebook. And I was like, oh, I don't know, mom. It's probably some, some wacky, like, boomer Facebook thing, right? So I'm like, I don't know, mom. You fucking dinosaur. <laughs> what are you talking about? Some weird meme, some meme that I don't get because I'm too young and cool and hip. Uh, but then I figured out it's been actually a whole thing on TikTok for like a month previously. So I was just out of the loop and my mom's more hip than I am, apparently. And after she told me that, I started to see them everywhere. In school, when I was driving down the interstate, I saw the person next to me holding one in their car. But usually by the time your parents start yapping about the newest trend, it's already old. It's already obsolete and it's outdated and no one really cares about it anymore. And this is a pretty similar situation to what happened with Stanley. Did you guys like my use of the word yapping, by the way? See, I told I'm hip with the kids. I get it. I get y'all, right? Like, uh, fucking, um, what's up, you Giat Rizzlers? Today we're gonna be yapping about some skibbity Stanley cups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So it was partially because the older generation adopted it. That always just kind of makes it lame to the TikTok, to the to the kids. But that wasn't the only reason. It also had a whole controversy about there being lead in the cups. People were making videos doing home lead testing kits, and they were testing to see if there was lead in Stanley cups, and they came up positive. Good news, I got the lead test. Um, bad news, there's color on these. They have lead in them. Do you see that? Throw away your Stanleys, or at least put them in a box in hopes they recall. This obviously sparked a lot of outrage and concern because lead is not good to drink. And uh, people were like, oh my god, I'm drinking lead. Oh my god, this cup, this cup has lead in it. Oh my god. Lead exposure expert Jack Caravano says while people shouldn't worry, he's disappointed the company chose to use any amount of lead in its products. It's just, it's on the bottom of it. Like, you're not drinking it. The only way that it would be able to get into the water, like the cup would have to be severely damaged for you to to actually be consuming the lead that's in the cup. Like there is lead in it, but it's not in a dangerous place and it's not, you're not consuming. But of course the response to the controversy was not as popular as the controversy itself. So there's still a large portion of people out there who think that Stanley Cups have lead in them. Even SNL made a whole skit about it. I'm getting lead. So of course SNL's skit is more well known than this guy being like, um, Actually, it makes sense, but it does suck because there's a portion of people out there who don't know the truth. Anyways, I'm yapping. I'm yapping like a Rizzler. <laughs> I need to stop with that. I don't know how to use those words. Now, on top of all that, people just stopped thinking that Stanley Cups were cool. There's several videos of people just basically saying, okay, next thing now, and throwing their Stanley Cups in the trash. Don't throw your Stanley Cups in the trash. Just because the cup isn't the hot new trend anymore doesn't mean you should just throw it away. It's still a decent cup that will get the job done for years and years. The whole point of using a reusable cup like that is to save plastic and help the environment, but it doesn't help the environment if you're just gonna buy 45 of them and then throw them away a couple weeks later when the trend inevitably dies out. That's the stupidest shit ever. I feel like now that Stanley Cup 
pickups are on the downfall. Before too long, kids are gonna start getting bullied for having them rather than for not having them. Picture this, a little girl, we'll call her Josie. Josie went to school with her hydro flask back in early January, and her entire class made fun of her because she didn't have a Stanley Cup. So she went home and cried to her mom begging for a Stanley Cup because the kids made fun of her. Her mom, working hard just to pay the bills, manages to budget for a Stanley Cup to make her little Josie happy. It's now February 1st and Josie's Stanley Cup had just come in. She's exhilarated. She finally gets to bring her Stanley Cup to school and show it off to all her friends. But when she gets there, they all look at her and laugh because the Stanley Cup is no longer cool. I already know some shit like this is about to happen. If it hasn't already happened, I'm sure it has. When something becomes super popular, it almost becomes resented because it's popular. People love to be into the new niche thing. They don't like to be into the thing that's super big and popular that everyone loves. They like to be unique and different. When things like this pop off to an insane extent and everyone is doing the same thing and people are like, lame. This especially happens when the trend has cringe aspects to it. And let's just say this one does definitely have cringe aspects to it like we discussed earlier. Think about hydro flasks back in the day. They exploded, but before too long, people started doing very cringy and just annoying things with them. This is my new hydro flask. Hydro flasks. And because of this, people began to dislike hydro flasks. And before you know it, hydro flasks were the new cringe thing. That was the old thing that all the cringy people still use. It's just the same thing happening here. So let's reflect. Stanley Cup saw a boost in popularity when a video went viral showing a Stanley Cup surviving a car fire. Then it really took off when the Valentine's Day Starbucks Cup came out and everyone went insane. They started to do some very cringy and funny things things with these cups it then fell due to a lead rumor the older generation learning of it and it just became cringy and here we are now don't get me wrong the stanley brand isn't dead the trend is dying but that doesn't mean that stanley as a company is gonna declare bankruptcy it's still a big company it has been for over a hundred years and it will continue to be if anything this trend gave it a boost in customers. Think about how many more people now know of Stanley Cup. Sure, they're probably not gonna reach that same level of success at least anytime soon, but I mean, the amount of people that now know about Stanley Cup that didn't a year ago is absurdly higher. And that leads to obviously a lot more customers. So they're still way better off than before the trend. So I'm not saying that Stanley, the brand is dead, but I'm saying, the trend, it's already fading away. If you take one thing away from this video, I hope it's this. If you want something because you think it looks cool or you think it's gonna do a good job, then by all means, buy it. It's also okay to like and wanna buy the new hot thing, but don't force yourself to do something just because everyone else says you should. That being said though, everyone's been doing this new thing where they've been subscribing to this like little YouTuber named Dakota Talks. You, like everyone's been doing it and like, you know, you're not doing it yet. So you're like, like a lame ass bitch is basically what people have been talking about. They've been saying, it. I mean, not my words, it's this other guy that I saw, like it's been going on the block streets thank you for watching go check out my last video where i dived into twitter it's an insane cesspool free for all go watch it give it a little watch i'll see you guys in the next one